Ron Petak, media personality. An Omaha native, Petak has been involved in Bellevue University athletics since the mid 1980s. He has served the BU athletic department as the play-by-play -play voice for Bruins men's basketball games for tape delay on the Bellevue Access Channel, provided his voice for radio play-by-play -play for BU baseball, and hosted the Bruins sports cable TV show with former coach and Hall of Famer Todd Eisner. After two years as a columnist for the Omaha World Herald, Petak took a job at the Bellevue Leader in May of 1985 and began his position as sports editor in November of that year. He was named the Bellevue Leader News Editor in 1990 and in 1999 was named the Executive Editor of the Bellevue Leader, Papillion Times, Gretna Breeze, and Ralston Recorder. From sports writer to the Executive Editor of four local newspapers, PTAC has kept the Bruins Athletics Program, the university, and its people in the public's eye. He has won numerous state and national awards for writing and page design and was presented the Distinguished Communication Service Award in 2013 from the University of Nebraska at Omaha School of Communication. He has been a presenter for local, state, and national seminars and webinars. PTAC worked in the press box at Don Roddy Field for the Bellevue baseball team during coach and fellow Hall of Famer Joe Forrell's career and introduced that Casio keyboard to Bruin baseball. He helped keep Bruin athletics relevant when the times were tough and help celebrate the successes of today. He's been a consistent supporter since the days of Coach Mosser to the athletic program the school is proud of today. PTAC has served as the MC for numerous Bellevue athletic events, including Athlete of the Year banquets, Hall of Fame banquets, and former men's basketball coach and athletic director Jerry Mosser's retirement gala. Ron and his wife, Kathy, have two daughters, Sarah and Stephanie, a five-year-old grandson, Dylan, and a two-year-old granddaughter, Mackenzie. I first met Ron Petak when he was a sports writer for the Bellevue Leader, and I was the baseball coach at Bellevue College. Ron would interview me after the ball games, and our agreement was that I would answer his questions, and it was his job to make it sound like I knew what I was talking about. About 27 years ago, um, a young man walked into my office after a basketball game, and it just happened to be one that I lost. And, um, Usually it's not a good idea to come in my office and talk to me, but Ron walked in and introduced himself and the paper hadn't covered us very well and Ron was new and he came in and he started talking to me and of course with my attitude I, I said this and said that about the game and about the way the kids played and, and uh, so he walked out and the next day the paper came out and it was like he talked to somebody else. He wrote up such a great story on our program, and that's how I got to know him. I, he, he did an excellent job, and through the years, he almost uh, the 20 years that I coached, he uh, wrote some great articles, even though one year I was 0-21, and he uh, made it sound like we were always close and we were always in the game. So. Uh, a very good writer and uh, a really good friend. Um, through the years, uh, I got to know his family and uh, he, his devotion to Bellevue University, he covered everything, baseball, basketball, volleyball, everything. So I believe that he is a good person for the Hall of Fame. Bellevue University's never had a bigger champion than Ron Petak. From sports writer to the sports editor to the editor of the newspaper, Ron has always been a champion for the university and for the athletic department. Uh, he's just been a super supporter of, of Bellevue University and Bellevue College. Well, Ron used to sit up in the press box with Dr. Spivak in announcing the baseball games. And I think Ron had a little more to do with the nicknames that Mr. Spivak used to call the ball players, uh, like Mike Ry uh, Mike, let's get down in Bougay was, was one of the favorite names of the team. Uh, it just always kind of added a little levity to the games, but as a coach, you kind of wanted to have the guys a little more focused on what was going on. But with Ron and Dr. Spivak up there making up names for players, it made it hard sometimes to concentrate on the field. One year, uh, we were playing volleyball against St. Mary's College, which uh, we all have a big rival for. and. Um, there was a man in the crowd that was giving us a lot of guff and he, he'd been giving us guff for years. 
So I went up and, and I was about ready to throw him out, but I didn't. So I kind of quieted him up and then went back. Well, the next week in the paper, Ron decides uh, that he has a friend at Gross High School that has a daughter that plays for St. Mary's. So he decided to write me up and uh, said some really nasty things about me. And I've never forgot that. So Ron, uh, I kind of question, I voted for you, but I only voted half for the Hall of Fame. So thank you again for everything you've done. Ron deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because there's a few things in life that are guaranteed. Without Ron's support, along with Coach Mosser's constant pushing for the program, there may not be an athletic program at Bellevue University like it is today. I want to say congratulations to Ron and, and thank him for his support of the university and the athletic program and for all those individuals that enjoy the athletic program that Bellevue University has today.